Hi everybody, this is a soft trafficant from uh, Quick Win Online Marketing and um, on in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Chrome extension to auto refresh and auto paginate of all your data studio reports. Um, so before we start and um, I want to show you uh, one small technique to make your dashboards look much better. So if you hit anywhere on the canvas, uh, not on a specific object but on a canvas here, you have this layout tab and you have um, on the right side you have header visibility so if you choose auto hide once you go to the view mode then you see the header just disappeared and if you move the mouse uh, to the top uh, section of the page it's gonna appear again so this way dashboard looks much more much better so now let's move back to the edit and we have a short report with uh, four pages right now and and what the extension does is to uh, refresh the data, pull a new updated data to your reports like every one, five minutes and so on. Uh, you choose the interval and it also identifies if you have several pages on the report so it paginates automatically every two minutes and these two minutes you can't edit this value yet. Um, super important thing that you should remember before using this extension or saying it's not working for you. Um, for some reason, Google Data Studio does not allow users with view-only permission to have any refresh reload button. So this extension cannot do something that it's uh, uh, disabled by the system. So if you want to put a dashboard on a big screen uh, in your office or something, the user that is activated must be a user with edit permissions it's super important to remember okay maybe in the future google will allow view only users to reload the data but as for now this is how it works unfortunately so we are right now in the data studio auto refresh chrome extension we have uh, four pages on this report and if you hit the re this button um, you should you're supposed to see uh, these settings if you don't see these settings, you need to reload manually the page, like hitting F5. And then the extension will know for sure that the, it's a Data Studio page, so it can work. So, um, we can switch to view mode. And choose the interval. I, uh, you can choose one minute. I prefer, it, it really depends on what kind of data you pull to the Data Studio. So if you have like, uh, I don't know, like uh, Google Sheets data, BigQuery data, whatever, like databases that actually refresh and brings a lot of fresh data every minute, use this feature, interval, sorry. Um, if you're using Data Studio to show your Google Analytics data, I recommend not to have a one minute refresh because you're just, um, first of all, you won't get any new data every one minute. So you have at least five minute uh, this is a great uh, refresh interval for Google Analytics reports and um, um, you don't like use uh, abuse the system okay so for Google Analytics I suggest at least five minutes refresh uh, maybe even 10 minutes it's okay for other much more uh, real-time uh, data sources you can use the one minute I, I personally I don't care use whatever you want so once you choose the, the, the relevant interval let's say five minutes you click on it uh, if the data studio have several pages, like in this example, you can hit the auto paginate and it uh, paginate between pages every two minutes. Every page deserves two minutes um, impression time on screen. And you just click anywhere on the screen and basically that's it. Okay guys, so if you have any more questions, um, do not hesitate to, to f uh, you can find me on social networks and so on and uh, you can comment on this video on YouTube and you can even send uh, emails to info at quickwin.co.il and um, for any questions, supports and so on. Thank you very much and have a great day.